Hello again. I know it's been ages since my last YouTube video um, and this is my first one back. So I hope you've been okay in the last four weeks or so or five weeks. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick sort of catch up a life update um, in this video. So um, if you have watched the previous video that Ewan really kindly filmed for me because I, I wouldn't be able to get through it um you will know that my mum really sadly passed away um so that was about four four or five weeks ago um and obviously I wasn't up to filming and just thank you so much to you and Mr Carrington for filming the most the loveliest video that I could upload for you to just let you know the situation so yeah I just wanted to do this video um and then what's this one's not out the way but it's just you know it's quite a it's going to be a hard video to do and then you know hopefully I can just get back to doing the fun ones and I have been okay this is going to be a bit up and down this video and all over the place because you know when something really tragic happens it's hard to kind of process it but um I'm doing okay I've got I've written down a few things oh hang on mug of the day first mug of the day I can't be forgetting that can I even the, it's been a while so people have been missing my mugs um this is a new one and it was from a charity shop in Wimbledon Village darling um and I found it shopping with my dad's wife and it was a pound and I think it's from British Red Cross and it's gorgeous the little bees on it um and that was yeah a pound from the charity shop so I did find some bargains right so okay so I've got my little busy bee notebook here with a few things because it's just hard isn't it when you to talk about really bad stuff that's happened and try and make it in a bit of an order and I don't really want to edit this too much because if I was just chatting to you about everything it would be sort of up and down and higgledy pickledy so I want to keep it like as natural as possible um but I am okay thank you so much for um all of your lovely messages um after you know you and posted that video or I put it on um they were just lovely so thank you so much um for writing the comments I read them all and they were just lovely um same on instagram as well sorry it's just hard to talk about but I, I am okay and i'm just gonna you know anyway so basically thank you to you and i've said that thank you to everyone all the subscribers for writing lovely little comments um and yeah i am okay my mum was hang on let me just let this bit pass i don't want to i don't upset anyone so if this is like too much for some people um You'd have to watch it because it's just like hello i'm coming back and i am okay that's all it is so like it might be, i'm not don't want to upset anyone but okay hang on <clears throat> ah right me right okay so yeah my mum was ill for a while um for about five years you know terminally or she had a heart condition pulmonary arterial hypertension and it was so complicated and like it's extremely rare and um she dealt with that fantastically and she was on oxygen 24 hours a day, but she didn't let it stop her. She was off, you know, she'd be off around the shop. She'd be at TK Maxx. She'd be painting. She painted our fireplace. She carried on doing pictures and looking after the grandkids and just living her life, um, you know, to the full. And she was just, you know, didn't let anything stop her. And I admire, admire her so much for that. When I read the comments, people wrote, oh, we didn't even know she was ill, which she would have absolutely loved because she hated anyone knowing she wasn't very well. This is actually a lot harder um, to talk about. I, like on YouTube, I don't know why. So I, well, I'm really sorry for, I'm not sorry, but I, I'm just trying to talk because I can talk about it for some reason. I don't know, it's just harder here. I'm so glad that I got to spend uh, the last three years with her because she moved up to Norfolk and we squeezed in so much in that time loads of little holidays to Weymouth and days out and breakfasts and we had a lot of time together and she had so much time with Toby like when I talk about this normally I'm okay it just gets you sometimes and for some reason it's getting me today but I am positive like I am okay there's I probably don't seem okay in this but I really am I promise like I've been just you know enjoying looking at all the photos and the good memories and stuff and we had we had so much time together we're so lucky that she lived next door she lived with us in this house in this room um for about a year while she was doing her one up which was all her like style it's amazing so um that was obviously still there um and it's lovely because we've still got mum's house and we're going to get a little um sign saying pat pat's house for the front of it um yeah it's just it's just hard that's all you know if you 
I think until you actually lose someone, you don't understand um, how it feels. And even if it's expected or someone's unwell, it doesn't make it any easier. Like it just, I don't know, it's really hard. And I miss her. I miss her like, you know, I wish I could just nip next door and have a cup of tea or phone her up or, you know, but I, we can't. So life has to move forward and there's no point like being really sad about it. I've just got to um, be positive and I am positive and you know, I've got all her things around me and her house. And she was so minimalist anyway, like she's not like me. I've got so much stuff, obviously. And mum just kept, always got rid of stuff. So she, she doesn't have like tons of possessions. So everything's staying in its place, which is lovely. And we're gonna get a big picture, of, you know, blown up on canvas and put it in her house and, um, and put it in our house or maybe one in each, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I, I really am okay. And um, I'm just trying, you know, trying to trying to just be positive about everything and as like anyone says I've spoken to people who've lost a parent or lost someone um there's quite a few people obviously that have and if you have you know how it feels and it's just like some days are absolutely fine and some aren't and that's how it's going to be for a while and that's okay um it's fine and normally like it just passes or I try and get you know get a good memory and a nice thought but sometimes it is just difficult it was weird going because we've always lived the last three years with mum so when um after we had her like celebration day she didn't have a funeral she had like a celebration day in my dad's garden it was absolutely beautiful and it brought all family and friends together it was a bit like um her 70th party which was amazing and she loved that so I'm so glad that she got to you know she turned 17 we had a great party and um that was lovely so the celebration day for her I've, I've I haven't been to a funeral I don't think as no I haven't at all um and it wasn't it was so happy it was just like a little party in my dad's garden there was a celebrant and it was just beautiful and I sang with my friend and it was lovely and then getting everyone together like for mum's celebration day or you know it was so nice being with family and mum's like brother so my uncle and my aunties and auntie sue from australia came over and it's just been really nice so we had a week's holiday mealy and toby and then we spent so much time with everyone and i absolutely loved that so that was really nice um yeah so that has been it's been lovely being with everyone and my friends and family have been amazing like lee um i'm gonna do a separate video for next week um explaining a bit more um not not sad video a really happy video um and yeah i just lee was fantastic um and you know just made me realize how much i loved him oh what else have i got here i think i think that's it really i just want to say thank you so much um for all of the lovely comments thank you for subscribing and being there so i'm going to end this video here and i hope it was okay to watch and it didn't upset anyone too much um but obviously i had to like talk about what's been um what's been going on and why i've been away but you probably knew if you watched ewan's video um so yeah so i'm coming back and um, i have been on instagram so you might have already seen some pictures and stuff of me and my family on there um so yeah i've been posting pictures for the last couple of weeks and that's been quite nice but i am ready to do youtube again i'm ready to do my vlogs and um all my other stuff uh vlogs polls that kind of thing i do and yeah i I really am okay so please don't anyone anyone worry like I've just when I've been happy I've let myself been happy when I've been sad I've let myself be sad and I've laughed I've just let myself go along and I haven't actually worked for ages I'm gonna be gigging tomorrow night so you're watching this Friday um the 9th and I've got a gig on Saturday so my first gig when you're watching this is tomorrow so I haven't worked at all been quite lazy but it's been really nice spending time with friends and family and I've, just, I've really needed that um so yeah thank you for watching um and if there's any I don't know any questions for anything or if you're going through something similar um with a parent or a loved one or a friend or anything then I send you lots of love um <sighs> it's just hard sometimes isn't it but you just got to t try and take the positive out of everything even the bad situations which is is what I try and do um yeah okay well thank you for watching I hope you have a lovely weekend my vlogs and stuff are going to be a bit sporadic until I get back to a normal sort of routine so I think um I'm going to try and upload one for Monday and then oh what's that noise I've got one for Friday and then um I don't know we're off to Edinburgh as well next week so I'll let you know on Instagram when I've got another video so I'm not sure when but there'll definitely be one in a week um so thanks for watching thanks for being there and lots and lots of love bye